Hi everybody, it is just about the end of November, so it is time for me to set my bullet journal up for the last month of 2020. Thank God, the last month of 2020. This journal has lasted me the whole year for various reasons, some of which are that I didn't use it for a big chunk of the year. And I actually had to count to make sure that I would have enough paper to get me through the end of this, which I will. Barely. So a real quick glance at November. This was my November calendar, my task list. It's, I'm still in the middle of the last real full week of November, so I've still got stuff I'm working on. I didn't wind up writing stuff down for goals because it's in my power sheets, habits, brain dump, got used. And then I have been doing this like folded situation with the Alistair method based on uh, the plant-based bride version of it, which I'll have her link down below. And you can see this week when the rain started that I blessed the rains down in Africa. <laughs> do, 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 Except I really didn't. I more blessed the rains in my bed. It was a bad week. And then this is this week and it's Monday. So obviously I still have a whole week and stuff left to do, including filming this video. So here is where I am going to start December. The first week in December has a couple days of November, which I'm fine with. And if you would like to see my weekly setups, I do those live, at least for now. I'm doing them live on Sundays at 2.30 p.m. Pacific time. So the first weekly setup of this spread will be done this coming up weekend. So I counted how many pages I have left coming up to this spot in the back where I was doing a bunch of pen testing and now I'm regretting doing as much pen testing as I did but I should have enough room to do all of my weekly spreads even if they're all a three what is it two spread spread two spread 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 two spread spread even if I do a two spread spread for every single week in December I have enough space to do that and have three spreads open here at the beginning of the month how many times can I say the word spread I love the outcast song the spread spread for me I can't I can't wait to get you home I'm also drinking a peppermint mocha right now so I'm a little caffeinated so I did some thinking ahead of time of what I wanted to do I didn't pencil anything in because I don't live that life. I still want to do a calendar that covers the whole thing. On this one, I put in my YouTube videos and just a couple of other things like election day and shit like that. And for this one, I'm doing Vlogmas. So I will have videos every single day. So I'll need the calendar for that. Plus a few things having to do with my Etsy shop because I will be re-releasing some prints and having a couple of small new things for this holiday season just mentioning that. So I, I'm going to want to do the calendar and I'm going to want to have the monthly task list on the calendar. I don't think I want to put goals here because I will be taking a look at my power sheets and thinking about goals next week. And then I want to repeat the habits and brain dump. Although I had some suggestions from you guys after my tendonitis got all heinous doing this little calendar situation. And then for my extra spread, which is an, it's a new spread, 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 spready spread. I want to actually put two different things here. One is because during the, the last like week and a half of December or so, I'm taking a break, a little end of the year break from work, but I will be having videos go up every day. So I need to plan to get those done while I'm doing the other videos. So there's that. And then I also have a few more things to plan out for the re-release of stuff in my Etsy shop. So I need a, a page for each of those. And I'll set it up kind of basically, but I don't wanna to get too hardcore about it because I tend to not use fancy spreads that are too hardcore. This brain dump I used because it just said brain dump and it wasn't super fancy. In terms of themes, I don't really have one. Uh, I was thinking about doodling some flowers cause I like doodling flowers. I'm gonna to have to like unfold some of these situations here to make this a little less, because I can feel them. That I guess more than anything would be sort of the reason to not do the folded page spread so often because I can only imagine how chonky your book might get. That's something to think about. One of the things I'm planning on doing this month is trying some different weekly layouts out because my goal is to only use a bullet journal in 2021, allegedly. So it's something to think about. I don't know. Anyway, one of the things I did this month that I wasn't as big of a fan of when I was thinking about it is that I made my habit trackers and my monthly calendar Sunday start. My weekly spreads are Monday start. And so I'm going to fix that this time with a Monday start calendar. Now, I loved how this one looked with the individual situations, but I think this time I'm going to do a grid. Also, if my heater is going in the background, if you notice it, that's just 
I'm leaving it on because it's chilly as fuck this morning. It's like, you know, 60, 55, 60 degrees. It's California. Give me a break. I'm going to actually use a pencil because I think what I want to do, and I want to do this for the habit trackers as well, is I want to draw the grid with the lines as opposed to individual boxes, but I want it to be like if it, the month starts on Tuesday and then ends on Thursday, like I wanna have that little bit of empty space because I wanna put some flowers or something there. So I think I'm gonna try doing my boxes six by six to give them a little bit of extra space. So I'm gonna do some counting, six by six, me six each box is six by six and there's five rows in December. That's 30 squares down and then seven across is, I got it right some shit down it's my little like notepad here so 30 down and then across is 42 am i right six times seven yeah that sounds right yay math Okay, I think I counted this. I think I counted this right. So I have seven across and then five up. That leaves me this much space to like put the title on top and then this column here to do my task list for the month. And I think that will work. Now the final thing to kind of figure out, this is a Tuesday start, Monday start calendar, but Tuesday start month. Then this will be here, here to here. That's the edge of this calendar. So I'm just gonna erase this like, this is like eraser. So this is the Tombow. Oh, you can screw it up. I just figured that out. This is a Tombow pencil. And I only just figured out how to use it because I don't use pencils very often. And so then the 31st is on a Thursday. So Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. So the calendar is gonna start here and then go like that, then go here and then go up and then go like that. And so there'll be a spot here and a spot here to put some doodles or something. Okay, that was way more math than I signed up for. Now I am gonna continue, am I gonna use these? I think I wanna continue to use these Klenas cause I love them so much. But I kind of want to do like the drawing in fine liners and then the Klenna. I don't know. You know what? I'll save fine liners for January. No, but I really want to use fine liners. Hold, please. I finally picked up the Tombow Mono Liners full set. I don't remember if I had before. I have so many fucking fine liners. It's like not even funny and I go through them so fast. But this is the Tombow Mono Liners six tip set. So I think I want to outline this calendar in like the 05 and do the middle lines in like the O2, maybe, or the O3. Again, I'm gonna have to tell, you guys, I'm sorry. I am, I mean, I'm not really that sorry. Sorry, sorry, not sorry, right? Okay, so I think I'm gonna use the eight for the around of the calendar and then the three for the inside of the calendar. And I'm gonna go turn the heat off because now I'm warm. <sighs> I even took my sweatshirt off. Maybe she's born with it. Maybe it's menopause. <laughs> you know, I should draw the line around the whole thing first because I just know that if I don't, I'm gonna be drawing lines off into who knows fucking where. I'm not gonna use a ruler because fuck that. Fuck my life. I already did it. <sighs> that is my janky little white out. Damn, damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it. Ah. <laughs> <sighs> And I had the little line with my pencil and everything. Holy shit. Really, Cindy, look at that. What is this Garbo? Holy shit. You know what? Fuck it. I'm gonna white it all out. I'm gonna white it. This is gonna be a white out as fuck kind of situation. Thankfully, I don't plan on writing a ton of shit in each of these calendars, so maybe it won't be that noticeable, <laughs> maybe. But like, okay, we're already like on DEF CON level 20, 25 with this whiteout. We got this thing drawn in. That was a little bit of a massive pain in my ass. And then what I want to do is something I, I have seen on Shada Campbell's channel. She like leaves another box up on top and then colors that in and writes on top of it with white gel pen. And I think that looks super schmexy. 
So I kind of want to do that. And so I think I'm going to give it a try. Dude, my fine liner drawer is a hot mess, but I finally came across. This is not even the one I want. I am looking for like a small, like big enough brush pen to fill it in, but small enough that it's not gonna like make a giant fucking mess. Maybe I'll just use my Tombow because at least, at least I know where that is. Not exactly. Fuck my life. Guys, I am a hot mess today. Hot mess express fucking every day. Okay, my black, this is why I wanted a why I wanted a smaller pen was because I'm just not apparently that good at detail work with a fat gel pen or a fat fucking, you know, Tombow. So I'm just going to kind of contain this with a fine liner to make it look at least somewhat neat. And I'm going to bust out some more white out because why the fuck not to just kind of, oh, ball sack. Fuck it. I'm going to use the white gel pen to color that in. Once this is all dry, I will write on top of it with gel pen. But in the meantime, I'm going to date this calendar because shit, if I am not falling the fuck apart at this point. So we have a dated calendar, even if it is messy as fuck. And then I need to grab a white gel pen. I have one out, which is nice. Does it work? Yes. Hell yeah. So this is the Uniball Signo white gel pen. I'll let that dry while I come back to it for my task list for the month. And in the meantime, I am going to do some doodly doodles so i'm going to take the o3 where are you o3 and just kind of fill in these two spots with doodles So if you see here, these are just like scribbly little doodles. They're not even that detailed. If you would like a video on how I did like this style of scribbly little doodle, just let me know. I plan on doing a couple of lettering and doodling tutorials in the month of December for Vlogmas. I just kind of like how this calendar looks. I'm going to put tasks here and then write December across the top. I think maybe what I'll do is do some just like, this is a fun thing you can do, like chonky, like lettering where you just put like N or where you're pressing down for the downstroke. So there's like N or O. So it's kind of like, wait, but it's December. I almost wrote November. I'm kind of not liking the lettering on this, but I'm going to add some white to it with the gel pen as soon as it dries. Fuck it. How bad is this bleeding through anyway? Ah, it's not that bad. <laughs> <sighs> You know, even for a loist term, okay, it bled through a little bit here, but even for a loist term, this doesn't look that bad in terms of bleeding. Although I think I just smeared the gel pen because it wasn't done drying yet. There we go. I like that a lot better, even though I feel like this poor spread has just been like massacred between this white out, fucking up down here a little bit, having to swap gel pens because one of them was running out and the amount of bleed through that I'm getting because I colored so much. But it gives me my monthly task list, which I'm not gonna move stuff over yet because again, it's not December yet, but I gotta let this dry for a second before we move on. <sighs> Fuck, dude, this took so long. Let's get a mild liner. Let's like, live the mild liner lifestyle. We'll take the gray mild liner, the light gray, not the dark gray. And I'm going to highlight the break that I'm taking the end of the year, basically. My kid's gonna be turning 17, which I need to write in here. My husband's gonna be turning 
33 question mark 33 34 how fuck old is my baby sister my baby sister is around the same age and then maybe i'll take a different highlighter i've got this gray one the statler tech surfer and what i'm going to do with this one is put in my custody i don't remember what it is it's, it's a little bit different towards the end like i have them for this whole situation but i don't remember what the weekends look like because my ex has a something going on. I don't remember what, I'll have to double check because it's not on my calendar. Custody, I'm gonna write some birthdays in and I'm gonna use the smallest tip of Tom Bow Monoliner, the one, to write on this calendar so that there's extra room. Christmas, Jesse's birthday. Fucking how old is he? 34 or 33? I think he's 34. I could be wrong though. Jesse's 34. And then Kat turns 17. Holy shit. <laughs> I'll fill the videos in and shit later. Okay, are we dry? I think we're dry. Are we dry? Dry enough. Okay, moving forward after spending half an hour on just this spread. For the habit tracker, I'm gonna be doing the calendars again, but like I said, I wanna just draw the box in. Oh, didn't give myself enough room. Anyway, what I'm gonna do is Take my black Tombow, because I am a sucker for punishment, and just draw across the top of each of these to write in what each habit is. So I'm gonna do I'm gonna do the same habits as last month. Oh fuck my life. One, two, three, four, five, six. No wonder. I counted wrong again. God damn it. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. We got this. I counted five by going one and then one, two, three, four, five. So yeah, okay, so this, 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 it's okay, it's okay, it's okay. It's okay, you guys. Fuckery, white out. One, two, three, four, five, here. And I lost my big one again. I lost my chonker, my fatty boom baddie. Okay. One, two, three, four. There. That's better. Not exactly perfect. Much better. All right. And then, did I do it here too? One, two, three, four, five, six. Yes, but at least this time I caught it before it went bad. This is why. At least I did that one right. Ha! Better. Oh shit. How many habits did I have? I had nine habits. Am I gonna have room for nine? Yeah, I'll have room for eight. We'll have to take one of them out. Well, we'll see which one. Okay, so I guess maybe what I'll do is draw some flowers here and some flowers here, and that'll be like a center, and then I'll do brain dump. That, okay, okay. So eight habits. I was gonna do, I was gonna do nine habits, but I was just gonna repeat last month's habits. So I guess we'll just cut one of them out. Maybe the one I'm doing the best on. Damn it, I wanted to bring it just to the edge. I, this, you know, if anything is proving the point of the need for Penciling things in in the beginning, I think my sloppy as fuckness is probably a testament to that. So we're gonna let that dry for a hot minute and decide which habit am I gonna leave off. We'll worry about that in a second because now what I'm gonna do is give myself about the same amount of space. I'm not counting though, cause fuck that. But at least I'm drawing a rectangle in this time. I'm gonna let that dry as well for the brain dump. And then while those are both drying, I dry, drying, drying. <laughs> I am going to do some flowers just in the center here to uh, fill it in. Same kind of situation as before, but I'm gonna move to a 0.5 pen because it's gonna be bigger. Oh man, I'm getting black smudge all over the paper. You can't really see it because of the uh, 
the exposure of the camera, but I can. I need to put like a piece of paper or something down while I'm working here. Getting kind of skanky. I'm gonna take a skinny pen. What is my one, my point one? My skinniest, miniest, and if I can find it. And I'm going to uh, just add a little bit of detail to some of these flowers to just make it look a little bit better. Not better is maybe not the right word, but like a little bit more interesting. Now that these are all dry, I'm going to take my white gel pen and I'm gonna write in my habits. So I have nine habits from this last month. Wake at 7 a.m., makeup, stretch, fruits and veggies, water, make dinner, walk, read, and clean kitchen. It's probably water. Water is probably the habit that I can skip because I'm doing really good at that. I thought I wrote Brian for a second instead of brain. Brian dump. <laughs> All right, habits, brain dump. So far, this looks like I know what I'm doing if you don't look too closely at it. But look at the side of my hand. Oh man, okay. And I've left a lot of like handprints on this page, but that's okay because I'm gonna be dumping my Brian all over it. So let's take a second for this to dry. And see, that didn't bleed through too bad. So for this spread, this is that extra spread I'm doing. I want to do one side to prep for the shop reopen and the other side to prep for the videos I need to get done ahead of time before my break. And that'll be for the name of each spread. And then I'll leave some space for some doodling up on the top. Now this side for the shop reopening, I'm just gonna, fuck, I'm getting black fucking everywhere. Learning, another thing I've learned from this is uh, don't put the black down until last. <laughs> um, this side I'm just gonna leave blank because mostly it's a scribbling game at this point of just listing a few things that need to be done. But this one I want to make boxes for eight videos because, or actually maybe just like a grid would be good. Yeah, like a tracker. It's gonna be videos and podcasts that I need to get done. So I'm just gonna draw in a tracker. I'm using the wrong fucking pen here. I'm gonna draw in a tracker here to kind of line up with the top and draw it downwards. It's gonna be way more than the space I need, but it's fine. I'd rather have it be too much space than not enough. What is it? It's planned, plan, film, edit, meta, schedule. And then I'm gonna give it another space for the day it's supposed to go live. And so I'm gonna fill this in with black as well. In for a penny, out for a pound, am I right? Does that even make sense in this context? I'm not sure. And I'm just gonna make like little dots. I'm not gonna divide it up with lines, but so it's my video, the date it's gonna go live, and then the things that I need it to do. Kind of wish I'd give myself a little bit more space, but I didn't. So now what I'm gonna do is doodle here and then doodle across the top. And maybe here, but I kind of wanna leave here. No, maybe I'll just doodle straight across and straight across. That way it'll sort of be a bracket on the top and the bottom. And then I'll have room here for my scribbly biblies. And otherwise that's, and then we can just flip back through this. I'm actually, my thumb hurts again, but you know what? That's what happens when you draw your whole fucking planner in. People, people do this. It's not always me, but apparently that's what I want, the life I want to live right now. So I'm going to live that life if I can ever find my goddamn number five. This is like maybe the theme of this video is where is Cindy's pen? Am I right? Uh, maybe, perhaps. A little bit more peppermint milk.
a bunch of doodles and having to change my camera battery later and I finished it. So let's take a look back through at what we did here, what we did, what I did. So here is the monthly calendar with all of the whiteout on it. I have space here to put all my YouTube videos, all of my podcasting, my tasks down the side, and it's just a, like an overview. Habit tracker, brain dump, and then we have a spot to make some notes for my shop restock and uh, information about the videos that I need to pre-plan and get done ahead of time before my break at the end of December. So this is fanciest I have gotten in a long ass time in my bullet journal. I'm going to try and incorporate the same elements into my weekly spreads, but they may not be the same every week because I want to try some different ones. So some of them may be similar to like these guys and some of them may not be. Anyway, if you're interested in seeing me plan, I do it live every Sunday at 2.30 p.m. Pacific time unless I make a note of it otherwise wise in the community tab. So be sure to subscribe and you'll get some of the notifications. I have the battery sitting right here. I haven't forgot to charge it. I'd love to hear from you in the comments below. Is this the kind of setup you like to see? Like I want to do what's going to make me happy, but I also don't want to make videos unless you guys actually think they're going to be interesting. So I'd love to hear your thoughts. Do you want to have tutorials on how to scribble these little janky flowers or Whatever the case may be, let me know what you want from me in the month of December and coming forward, especially having to do with bullet journal videos, since this is likely going to be the only planner I use next year, allegedly. We shall see. Thank you so much for watching. Subscribe if you haven't already. Stay safe, wash your hands, all of that good stuff. And until next time, my friends, I love you. Peace out.